In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a bleed to a PNG file. Um, if you're a Cricut user, then you know what that means. Essentially what it does is adds a color around the outside of your um, image so that when it cuts, it doesn't show any white because of that added bleed. Okay, so to do that in Create, what you'll do is you'll import your PNG file. And when you do that, in the Layers panel, you'll have a Cut layer and a Print layer. All right, so I'm going to choose the Print layer, and I'm going to come to Trace. And I'm going to decide what color it is that I want out of this image to be for my bleed color. And I'm going to choose a brown. And this one in this sword here because there's a dark, a light, and a medium. All right, so I'm going to choose single color, okay? I'm going to make sure this is five or below. Um, it doesn't need to be a higher number than that. And then double click on this swatch, whatever color it is, and then just hover over your colors until you see the one that you want and left click on it. And then just click OK. Nothing else has to be selected or changed, just single color and make sure this is five or below, okay? And then choose OK. Then you can move this off to the side. This is just for a color reference, all right? So then when I come to um, my fill and stroke, I can see that I have this color chosen. So if I click on this color swatch and I add a new color, uh, you're going to see that this turned white. Okay, so you need to click on this old color to make them both the same color and then click on add custom color. Okay, you can see I've done that three times already now. So, uh, delete that. I lost my internet. I don't know what happened. Anyways, okay, so now that you have that, you can come back here, come to your cut layer, go to um, fill and stroke, Select color for your stroke, and you can see it defaults to black. Click on that and click on your color swatch that you saved, your custom color. And then if you zoom in here, you'll see that it's now brown instead of black. So that's how you do that. Um, also, you want to make sure that your cut layer is set to cut in the style panel. That way it will print that brown and then it will cut, okay? Uh, if you have it set to print plus cut cut, it's only going to cut. It's not gonna print that brown. So make sure that it's set to cut, okay? That's it. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below or you can find me in one of the two Facebook groups that's posted in the description of this video. Thanks for watching.